Brett Pontecorvo here at MainStageToAbleton.com, and today we are checking out how you can make curved automation lines, and we're going to do that using the auto filter. Uh, so let's have a listen to the synth. The auto filter is one of my favorite devices, and actually there is a full post all about the auto filter. So uh, if you would like to learn more about it, you can check that link out in the details below. But for right now, let's talk about automation. Automation mode is entered and uh, exited by using the A key on your keyboard. Um, any parameter that you click on, you will notice um, live will automatically change. Um, and if you would like to add additional lanes, um, you can do such. Uh, it's pretty glorious. Um, yeah. All right, but for now, I'm going to get rid of this. So, um, we're going to start at a pretty quiet sound. Um, and we're going to end at a relatively loud sound. Um, about, we'll just do all the way open. It'll be crazy. Okay. So what you saw there is probably the thing that you know how to do. But um, what we're talking about today is making curved automation lines, um, which you can do by using the option key. And you'll see the cursor kind of has this uh, little curved shape thing that happens to kind of indicate that. Um, so let's start it here and check out what that sounds like. gradually increasing faster. All the way to all the way open um, using a curved automation line. You can also go the opposite direction where it is faster and gradually slows down. So we can watch down here as that happens. Opening pretty quick. Now starting to slow a bit. And there you have it, friends. That is the way you make a curved automation line in Ableton Live. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to Ableton, and especially if you're switching from MainStage, head over to my website at mainstagetoableton.com forward slash go to get your free copy of the Fast Track Patchless Guide today, which will have you up and running uh, with a MainStage style patch list in Ableton Live. And to stay up to date with all of our latest blog posts, be sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel here.